and welcome back to my channel. So I have decided to change things up a bit. Um, as most of you are aware, I taught myself with graphite drawings. Um, and I was getting a little bit bored of graphite, so I've decided to try and teach myself colour drawings. Uh, the interesting thing to see is, can I um, transfer the skills learnt from graphite drawings into colour drawings? Um, those skills being the uh, edge to values and the gradation and working out shadows and so on and forth that I've discussed before on my channel. So I'm going to take you with me on the journey and see how we get on. As you can see at the moment, uh, my first full colour portrait that I tried was Rory McElroy. Um, I had tried a couple of different things before this. I tried a, um, a cupcake and uh, a couple of close-up oysters just to try and get the hang of working in colour really. Um, so yeah, let's see how we get on. I think in the end it comes out okay. It took me a lot longer than I would like. It took me at least 40 hours. Um, but again, it, it's something new, so I was taking my time. Um, I wanted to make sure that it looked like Rory McIlroy to start off with. So, um, And I found that the, the skills, the um, edge to values and the gradation to make everything look 3D and works perfectly well with, with colours as well. It's very transferable. The only difference is obviously colours. You've got to add colour into the mix. Um, the, the pencils I'm using to do this are the Caran Dash Luminance, but I've only got a pack of 40, so trying to mix colours as well to make sure that he's the right colour. Um, yeah, and layering things on top, like when I first put his cheek on, uh, he looked very orange, and it was quite it was quite daunting, it was quite worrying to start off with, but um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's so different to um, graphite that you just like, you can't put eight big graphite down and then layer four H on top of it and expect it to be lighter because graphite doesn't work like that. Whereas coloured pencils, you can absolutely put down a darker colour and then layer um, lighter colours on top and make things brighter. Um, it's a much more enjoyable medium to work in. So far, um, graphite. Yeah, I like graphite, but. It's dirty and um, yeah, I much prefer being able to layer the colours on top of each other as opposed to layering just uh, graphite on top of each on top of graphite. Um, so yeah, I have to um, I have had to change how I layer down the pencils. Um, it is different to graphite, but like I say, if you if you understand the um, principles of how light works and edge to values and gradation, um, then it's absolutely doable. Um, it's just learning then the, the colours and and how to um, create the colour that you want if you don't have the pencil that's the exact colour and then blend in um, I don't use a, a, a blending stump or anything, it's all blended with lighter colours of the shade that I am working in. Um, the biggest thing, same with graphite, is tone. It's not about colour, it's about tone. If you can get the darks dark enough and the lights light enough, um, and obviously colour matters, you want to get it as close to the... Um, the, the image that you draw as possible but tone is much more important tone is what gives you um, 3d it's what makes everything look lifelike it's having the right tone in place so yeah there we go that was my first full color drawing um, of Rory McElroy who at the time was world number one he's just dropped to world number two but there we go so yeah 
more drawing more color drawings coming in the future so if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe lots of my viewers aren't subscribers so it would mean a lot if you do subscribe and yeah i will be back with you with the next one soon all right thanks guys and see you soon